Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be giving you guys a little update about what has been going on with me um, these past few weeks or from my last video. I know it's been a while since I updated y'all on um, my pregnancy. I am currently 33 weeks and I am extremely tired, y'all. I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired. I feel like I only have energy just to take care of my kids, take care of my home, and then after that, I'm done. So I haven't even really had any energy to record any videos, which I know I should have, but yeah, it's been a lot. So, like I said, I'm currently 33 weeks. Um, for my last video, I think I discussed that um, I was going to a high-risk doctor because um, uh, I had some bleeding uh, and the people at the emergency room thought I might have had a low-lying placenta, which it actually ended up moving up. So that situation cleared itself and everything was fine. But after that visit, the high risk doctor continued, uh, wanted me to continue to come in and be monitored um, once a month uh, for the baby's weight because I guess she's on more on the smaller side. So she is in the second percentile. Um, yeah, she's in the second percentile. Um, so she's not, she would be, she is going to be my smallest baby. All my babies have been over seven pounds, all of them. And my last baby, which was MJ, I had him at 37 weeks. He came on his own and he was almost eight pounds. So this is my first, will be my first small baby. Um, have been going to the high risk doctor once a month. Now I'm currently going to them and my regular doctor once a week now so at about 31 weeks creeping into 32 weeks i started having some contractions um it started on a friday and i kind of ignored it because i wasn't really sure if it was contractions because it wasn't really that strong but they were consistent so it started at about like 8 p.m at night and it lasted all the way into like six o'clock a.m. in the morning so every hour I was having like light contractions um, between seven to six minutes but I kind of wasn't really sure about it because like I said it wasn't small it wasn't strong and I didn't want to go into the hospital and you know I just didn't want to go just to go just I wanted to make sure that if something was wrong you know so I ignored it that night come Saturday night I um, started having contractions again. So I had contractions about 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. that night. I ended up, I did go to the hospital that night only because my um, contractions were a little bit more stronger and they were, again, every hour they were, I was having between, they were coming six to seven minutes. I was having contractions six to seven minutes. Finally went to the hospital come to find out I was in um, preterm labor so they did all the tests and everything to check to see what could possibly because they said it could be an infection or um, just dehydration causing me to have these contractions and everything came back and everything was fine there was I wasn't dehydrated and I didn't have any type of infection so they gave me a shot can't remember the name y'all but I will um, put the name in the video somewhere on the screen um, I think it started with a T they gave me a shot of something which helps the, uh, the uterus um, relax and stop contracting and they also gave me a shot of steroids just in case the baby um, did and you know if she was trying to come or if she did come so I stayed in the hospital for maybe a few hours and um, they left me, which the contractions did stop. But as soon as I feel like as soon as I walked out the hospital, and went into not into the car, I had started having contractions again, but they weren't strong and they weren't um, close together. So I, I just was like, OK, fine. You know, maybe the medicine is still trying to work its way in me. I think I think Saturday night. 
on Friday night, I had the contractions, didn't go to the hospital. Went to the hospital Saturday night, and then into Sunday. Okay, so yes, so Sunday. I left the hospital Sunday morning. Ended up going back to the hospital Sunday night. Again, this time the contractions were way stronger, much stronger, and they were, again, six to seven minutes apart. So I went back to the hospital. You know, they hooked me up. They saw on the monitor what was going on and the contractions or whatever. Um, they gave me another shot of the same thing to help with the uterus. And they gave me my second dose of the steroids just in case, again, the baby decided to come. They redid all my tests. Still, everything was fine. And then I guess the emergency doctor was just like, sometimes people just have contractions. Um, sometimes there's really no real reason why it's happening. But again, they gave me the shot and the shot did help. Again, it did help. And they kept me this time. They didn't release me. They made me stay overnight and uh, to monitor me. And um, yeah, uh, ended up leaving the hospital. I'm still having contractions, but they're not. Um, so Sunday, all that, the last time I went to the hospital was Sunday. And that day it made 32 weeks. So 31 weeks into 32 weeks, so 32 weeks. Um, I went back to the hospital the second time. And um, like I said, they gave me the shots and everything. So I'm kind of on bed rest. I mean, my doctor didn't really say I'm on bed rest, but I was kind of on bed rest before um, going to the hospital. Since the baby is small, they want me to um, not be on my feet so much and uh, make sure I'm monitoring her movements, making sure she's moving uh, properly. You know, I'm counting and make sure she's kicking and, you know, just regular her regular movements or whatever. So yeah, I've been having a time with that. Um, as y'all can see, I'm huge. Excuse me. I'm huge. But um, yeah, I'm still having contractions, but it's not anything that I feel like I need to go to the hospital. And I'm currently going to my doctor, both of my doctors, um, weekly. I just went to the high-risk doctor um, this past Monday. It's, it's Thursday today. So I went this past Monday and they um so I'll be getting a weekly ultrasound and just make sure that the fluid around the baby is fine and um the umbilical cord is functioning properly and you know stuff like that just making sure that all her organs and everything is um, functioning and growing so because they're thinking about inducing me around 37 to 38 weeks um and the reason for that is because, like I said, they said she's small, and they said that sometimes it's better, it's more beneficial for her to be on the outside than be on the inside. So, yeah, I just have a few more weeks to go. I am kind of hoping they do induce me at 37 weeks. I'm over being pregnant. And 37 weeks is a good, um, is a good spot to be induced or to go into labor um, wherein she may not have to stay in the hospital um, but being her, that she is small she may have to stay in the hospital may, uh, a few extra days but fingers crossed that we don't have to um, worry about any of that but that is really all um, all I have uh, we are super excited about her have everything we need thanks to our family and friends we did not have a baby shower but we did have a registry and um, all of our family and our friends um, went and did what they needed to do and um, we appreciate them all for everything that they have bought and sent us we really appreciate it and um, we just have a few more things to get like some more baby clothes um, just little stuff like baby clothes and um, you know baby products stuff like that but all the big things like our stroller and our, our uh, bathtub and all that stuff we have all of that and we're just so ready for her to come I'm ready for her to come but I'm not ready for her to come I'm ready for I want it to be at least 37 weeks when she does decide to come but yeah y'all that is my update as you can see 
look at me, look at me, and my face is all fat. <laughs> I got cute for y'all today. I got cute and did a little something. Try to do a little something with my hair, put on a little dress <laughs> to make this video. Cause let me tell you, child, I'll be looking a hot mess around this house. I don't even care. <laughs> but I want to say thank you guys for all your support and like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And see you guys in the next video.